everyone, Paul ISM. Welcome to another inbox review. So, we've got the new released BMAX uh, 124th E30 M3 rally car. Literally landed in my hands ooh, four or five days ago. Um, I've built the touring car version, DTM version over there in the white box uh, a couple of times now. It's an absolutely stunning kit out of the box. It really is brilliant. It's one of my favourite all-time cars, E30 M3. Literally legendary within motorsport. So it's nice to see the rally version uh, being released. Now, there are differences in the kit. Uh, obviously, the touring car sits low, so the rally's got race suspension. We've got different rims. I think the speed lines. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they are. We've uh, got different tyres. We've got the roof vents. You're going to get two seats in there. Uh, it's got a slightly different spoiler as well. And there's going to be a few more differences as we go. I'm not going to do a side-by-side. -side. I don't want to do that. Uh, but I'll try and pick out the differences as we go. I've also got the detail upset, which I did add the first time I built the touring car version. Um, I didn't use it the second time around. But on this one, I think it's worth adding. Uh, it's actually the Bastos scheme on the box. You're not allowed uh, tobacco or cigarette sponsorship anymore. So they don't include them in the box by law. Um, but BMAX have got around this by supplying the B, the Bastos decals in the detail upset. So I think it's 12 to £15. Pounds. The detail upset includes uh, photo etch for the discs. You get full belt set in there as well. Obviously the extra decals. So it kind of is worth the money on this one. Ordinarily, I'd actually say the kit really doesn't need the detail upset. Only for the belt really. But if you've got your own way of making them like I do, you don't really need it. But... For the Bastos decals, you want to do the box scheme, I think it's worth getting. Um, there is loads, well, there's about half a dozen at least rally schemes aftermarket decals out there at the minute. Hopefully we'll see some more. Uh, I plan to grab a few more of these as we go. Um, uh, it's a great kit. Honestly, I can't recommend the touring car version enough, and I've got a feeling the rally car version is going to be just as epic as well. Like I say, the E30 M3 is an epic machine. Always was, always will be. And um, yeah, it's nice to see a rally version of it finally. So there we are. So let's over to Bench, have a look, and see what we think. Right, so there we go. There's the boxer, absolutely beautiful looking machine uh, in action with its co pilot and driver uh, on a tarmac stage. Absolutely fantastic. Um, on the side of the box, we've got a side profile of the car. We've got all the paints required just there. We're going to have a little looky see. Uh, you probably use half of them, I'm not going to lie, uh, from personal experience, but they're there if you want to have a look anyway. Side of the box, same picture, they've got the kit number, it's number 18, uh, 1050614200, or B24016, I think that's actually the kit number there. Um, there we go, and on the other side you've got a front rear view, stunning looking car, and the optional extra set as well, which shows the PE, the antenna, I forgot that was in there. The seatbelt doesn't mention the uh, decals though. No, nope, actually doesn't at all. Um, and that's it. So inside the box, if we whip it open, nice strong sturdy boxes as well. No issue with these in the stash at all. Uh, we've got the detail upset, which we'll get to later on. Um, we've got our decals, lovely. Bit of photo etch in there as well. Which is nice to see. Take a bit of room, give me a sec. We've got the body shell, which will move over there. We've got the rims, which do look like speed lines to me, five studs. We've got the glass parts. We've got seats, the bonnet. So, different seats. Very nice seats, actually, really nice. Um, front bumper, rear bumper. We have spoilers. So these are different sprues to the uh, touring car because obviously they've got the race suspension um, and so on and so forth. We've got the chrome parts and the black parts, wheels, so wheels, tyres, and the mesh for the grille as well. There's instructions again with a black and white picture. They are proper, oh, look at that. They are proper stapled together instructions and a very, very, very nice colour call out for the decals. And ski, and that is absolutely lovely. Very, very nice. Nice addition. So, very cool. We'll pop the uh, instructions over there until later. Right. Let's pop them over there. Put the detail set at the back as well, out of the way. And we'll start with the body. Now, it's going to be a bit of rustling. Excuse me, not cattle rustling, just rustling on the backs. So, in there, as you can see, you've got plenty of. Uh, Locator points to cut off, they're fairly easy to do, no issue at all. 
Um, this is a bonnet up kit, so there is provision to have the bonnet or hood of your American open, but there is no engine detail as of yet. So whether well, something's in the pipeline, I don't know. But it's nice to see. There was somebody complaining the other day about a gap on the bonnet. I've not had one yet uh, at the tier I built. Uh, it's a very, very well molded uh, body shell. Now you're always going to get seam lines on these as the nature of injection molding. And on this, because the bumpers are separate, they're normally down the bumpers front and rear because they're done, the bumpers have obviously been slide molded. Um, you won't have any on there. But what you do have is at the back, just running up there along the back of the boot lid. There is one, there is one very slightly there on the C-pillar. And I reckon that will probably be about it, so yeah. Oh, very slightly... No, that isn't actually. No, that's a shut line. So yeah, a couple of panel lines, uh, seam lines to take care of. Other than that, not a problem at all. We've got the bonnet and hood catches there. They're inbuilt on. But you think you do get them in photo etch in the detail upset. So it will tell you to remove those should you wish. Now... P does look good, but you can hit these with like a Molotov pen and they look absolutely fantastic. But that body's going to give you no issues at all. It's very nice plastic, nice and thick as well. I recently did a Hasegawa kit and the body was so thin, it almost felt it was just going to break on me. So very, very nice, high quality body. So that's lovely. We'll start off with all the main parts now. Again, excuse the rustling. I'm, uh... I'm going to rip the bags open. It will be going back in this bag. It's getting built very, very soon. There we go. So, we've got the main chassis, which is there. We've got the dashboard, which is left-hand drive. Brake discs, which are cross-drilled with AP racing calipers, they look like. Uh, we've got cross members underneath. We've got window wipers, tow hooks, uh, gear shifter, the roof antenna, which the actual... Uh, detail apart is a lot better and the lower transmission lower engine detail there as well so it looks good there's minimal cleanup just on the locator tabs the sprue tabs no bother at all no ejector pin marks underneath whatsoever to remove they are inside we're not going to see them because um, it is a tub for the interior and the under detail isn't bad at all um, Transmission looks good. There's plenty of detail. Once you paint that up, hit it with a wash, it's going to look very good. And if we come in close, we'll have a little look at things like the calipers and what have you. So there, as you can see, the cross-drilled AP Racing. Very, very nice. Obviously, they're only going to be detailed. Oh, they are detailed both sides. Wow. Okay, fair enough. Never usually are, but they are. There's part of the rear uh, differential. Drive shafts. Very nice. We've got the dashboard there. Which again, nice bit of detail. Obviously, it's a 1980s car, so it's a pretty simplified dashboard. And of course, it's left hand drive because these all were left hand drive. Uh, they could be converted to right, but I believe it kind of ruined the car. But as a motorsport edition, these are all going to be left hand drive. Some uh, cross members, we've got uh, tow hooks, etc. etc. There's the roof mounted antenna. The part supplied with the detail set is a massive improvement over that. Um, yeah, it's a huge improvement. Window wiper, single wiper obviously on this, I think. Oh no, it's not. Is it? I can't tell, I can't see on the box. I know the touring car is. Do we get an extra wiper with this one? That'd be interesting. Let's have a little look on the box. Yep. Hmm. Okay, weird. Looks like a single wiper. Very strange. We've got number plate mounts there as well. Uh, steering rack. Well, what is the interpretation of the steering rack? And then the detail on the underbelly. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can see it. Normally I have two cameras. It's, it's become a bit of a chore lately. So I'm sticking with the one and I'll zoom in as and when I can. As you can see, the transmission and the lower half of the engine is pretty well detailed. You're going to have to brush paint it or careful mask it off. But once you do and get a bit of a wash in there, it's going to look well. The rest of the detail is good. We've got some kind of cooler there. I'm not actually sure what it is, whether it's oil or what. I'm going to assume it's an oil cooler. Uh, I don't know though. But the detail is quite good. So overall, fantastic on that. No problem at all. Let me zoom out a little bit to have a look at this one. So this one is the roll cage. And we've got the chassis tub as well. And the door cards on there as well. Door cards, very simple. Uh, obviously, it is a motorsport car. And uh, the interior is basically what a stripped-out car would probably look like. 
uh, with our carpeting, etc. So there's no real, you know, details to write home about. What I am noticing is there's no location for the passenger seat, obviously because this is a touring, it's a single seat. So it'd be interesting to see what we've got to get around that, which is, yeah, it's built into the seat. Oh, okay, very clever. Roll cages there. Uh, we've got the usual seam lines down the centre. Uh, it can be a bit laborious clean up the roll cage, but it's pretty simple. No real bother at all. Steering wheel is nice, typical M3 steering wheel. Uh, your instruments are there as well, gear shifter, interior and mirror, etc. So a little bit of clean up on the roll cage because it has a centre seam on every single part. Um, it can be a bit tricky to get in there with a sander, so I always use a knife, the back of a knife, to scrape it off and clean up as much as I can with the sander or the Suji Burrito files, which are very handy. So there we go, nice detail on that too. Uh, we'll go for this one next, because we've got the bonnet, or the hood if you're American. And obviously we've got our racing seats as well. Now like I say, the touring car kit, the DTM machine, does come with a single seat. These are coming with two, and they are lovely. Really, really nice. Oh, pardon me. Um, these are really nice. The only thing that annoys me is they don't have the centre... Um, harness hole for the six point harness which uh, yeah they would have had but nice detail as always jetty pen marks on the back they're always there uh why they don't put them underneath i don't know but they are there um they're probably been carbon backed um back end might have been the composite yellow stuff but it would have been there and as you can see this seat at the top is smooth to go on the kit uh locators and this one has them built in so that's their way around it very clever but they are nice seats, really nice looking seats, so fantastic. We've got the kit bumper there as well, like you say, slide moulded. So you're going to have no seams on there to clean up. No, it's as clean as a whistle. you just got the locator points to clean up, no bother at all. We've got the bonnet there as well, with your stereotypical uh, M logo, propeller logo for the centre, which should be on a decal, and your bonnet pins as well, which again, leave them on, take them off for the uh, photo etch. I think it comes with it, I'll double check in a bit. And, of course, that grille synonymous with the BMW. Uh, you get the kidney centres in chrome, and they do look fantastic. It really finishes off the car. So no problem there at all. We've got no, no sink marks on the bonnet at all. There's a bit of marbling in the plastic, but you're not going to see that. And uh, No problem with the bumper at all either. There's no flaws in it. It's, it's just spectacular. Absolutely spectacular kits. They are stunning. Very, very nice. Right, this one, so we've got front bumper, we've got different discs, so I'm assuming they're giving the rally car some different discs. We'll have a look through the instructions in a bit and maybe spot that. These bags are a pain, they're good though. They're very tightly packed. So in there we've got two things. Absolutely no idea what they are, we'll figure them out in a bit. We've got the revised ray suspension of this car. Obviously it sits a lot higher than the... Uh, the touring machine we've got the roof scoops as well which to be fair they're a little bit thick um they can look a bit unrealistic so if you can thin them out even if it's just at the front it'll look a little bit better um or what i like to do is have one up one down i did that on my Su uh, subaru and it looked good uh we've also got toe points the mirrors and uh what looks to be the onboard computer is it look yeah it could be but again, no problems there at all. All nice and clean, crisp, beautifully moulded, absolutely stunning. Really nice. Uh, so you've got a bit of clean up, on, depending on how much you're going to detail it. There are seams around the edge, or on every one of these are built. And where your spring is imitated, there's a little bit of a seam in there as well to clean up. But no real difficulty at all. I've absolutely no idea what they are. They're a blank for something. Are they a blank for... Looks like there's intakes on the bumper. Indeed it is, they are blanks for the front bumper, so there we go. Front bumper's lovely, obviously you've got your indicators there. Um, they, I'm going to assume, are brake cooling vents, are they? It must be. They're blanked off on the rally car. You've got the rear spoiler, which is different on the rally car. The touring car has an extra lip, um, which, funnily enough, the last touring car, two cars I've done, I've cut that off because they didn't require it. And we've got the front splitter. Is it? Is that a front splitter? I think it is. I think so. Looking at, I'm looking at the instructions on the front, it looks like it is. Got the exhaust, uh, exhaust tips, which need gluing on there in halves. And we've got cross grooved discs. So rather than being uh, drilled, these are cross grooved as well. 
So there we go. So as simple as that. So there we go. A few different parts than the touring car. There we are. Uh, we've got chrome parts. Very nice chrome on this. It's mostly for the lights. So there's no need to de-chrome it at all. Um, we've got the kidney shaped grill, the mirrors as well, and obviously front and rear lights. They don't need doing. And the grill, um, you need to touch up the sides a little bit where you cut it off. And I found a Molotow chrome pen absolutely perfect for touching it up. And the way it sits inside the front grill, you can't see the edges that much anyway, to be honest. So not really all that much of a hardship to do. It's nice chrome. It's not the best, um, but it's certainly not the worst I've seen. And it definitely doesn't um, require um, stripping at all. So absolutely perfect there. So well done again. Uh, rims. Now, I'm going to assume these are speed lines. I'm going to cheat and have a look on the decals. Because if they are, they should be marked speed line. I can't see. No, nope, I can't see, but they do look like speed lines to me. Maybe become more apparent later when we look at the instructions. We'll see. Let's whip them out of the back and have a look. So again, absolutely just flawless. Absolutely amazingly molded. Beautiful, I'll bring you in to have a little look. There we go, very, very nice. Here you're five studded. Ooh, got a little bit of flash on that one there, but literally grab that with a pair of tweezers. Wrong tweezers, but they're decal ones, and uh, it'll probably come off. Let's have a look. Yeah, most of it's gone. Just slide it off with a pair of tweezers. And for the most part, it's gone. But lovely rims. Very, very nice. And, uh, yeah, they're going to look very nice because they're gold on this one. So they're going to look stunning sprayed up. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure they are speed lines. We'll find out in a bit. We've got the tyres. Polycaps. So your standard style polycaps for in between the uh, discs and the tyres. Uh, <laughs> the brake calipers and the wheels. Uh, we've got slicks, not badly done. Um, yeah, the cut off points on one side, so you've got a clean side and a side with them and cut off, but there's no problem there at all. Um, some nice slick tyres and the mesh. So you cut away mesh for the grills. I think these come in the aftermarket set as well. We'll have a look in a bit. So, yeah, cut that to size, careful CA glue. And it looks very realistic once it's in place. Very, very good. And I'm just going to pop this lot back in, especially the polycaps and that mesh, so that I don't go and lose them because that would be a nightmare. Now, spares for these. Now, I've noticed Spot Model in Spain have obviously started breaking their own kits up and selling off the spares. So if you get stuck, contact Spot Model because I've been, I needed a spare screen set for one of my E3s. Uh, M3s, I broke by accident, um, and they're, they're breaking up the parts. If you get stuck, contact Spot Model, and I'm sure they will sort you out. Now, the clear parts are going to be exactly the same as the DTM car. Uh, there's no problem for these. There is a mass set available. There's a couple of them out there, and uh, they are worthy to get because it's quite a lot of glass to mask. It's nice and clear. Uh, there's no obvious distortion. It's nice, crisp. Uh, you got a few locator points, uh, three points to cut off, uh, front rear light lenses, headlights, all very nice, and no problems there at all. It's very nice, very clear, minimal distortion, but they do need masking and painting black on the inside, by the way, so you get that nice effect on the glass. So again, no problems with the glass, and again, I'm going to put this back in the bag, as I always do with glass, just to keep it safe. So let's have a look at the decals next. Now there's a bit of PE in here, like I say. I'm not 100% sure what it is because I haven't really looked. So let's see what we got. So we've got some BMW badge logos there. We've got the photo etch. Shall we come? 
So let's see what we've got. So we've got the rally plates, number plates, and something else. Mine's a little bit bent. It's a bit of shame, but not a bother. We've got, I'm going to guess these are tyre markings. They are the Pirelli tyre markings. You can see them there. Just not reversed. They are proper decals. And the BMW logos as well, which are very, very nice. Uh, high quality metallic decals. They're lovely. And then the decals themselves. Now, I'm very surprised in the decals for the wheels. I'm just going to have a quick look through. No, can't see any at all. Very strange. So the decals look good. Obviously, you've got all the red for the Bastos scheme on there, including these giant decals down the side. As long as you're careful with them, they'll come off fine. You can also get uh, the Bastos colour from like a Hero Boy, which I've got as well. But for me, uh, I think we're having these check bits at the back. I'll use the decals, to be honest. And um, I've not actually used... Have I used BMAX decals yet? Don't think I have. I know Sam did, my buddy Sam, and he had no problem with them whatsoever. There are some marks to the uh, backing paper where they've been obviously pressed in the box, but other than that, they look very good. Um, I can't see there being any drums with them. You've got nice M3 logos. You've got belts in there as well. So obviously, you don't buy the detail upset. You do have some decal belts. They don't look the best, but they're all right. You've got the rally plates, uh, tour de course. Uh, number plates, obviously the numbers for the cars, some sponsorship decals, and the drivers. Let's see if we can butcher these drivers' names. So you've got Jean Bernard, uh, V, View, is it View? And Bernard Beguin, and Francis Chateau, uh, Michael Perrin. I probably butchered their names, so sorry if I did. Um, but yeah, decals look good, they don't look too bad. There's not a massive amount of carrier film on all the. The bits, I like to see these numbers and that, that you could separate. There is a bit of carrier film between them. And obviously that will help them lay down, but I can't see them being an issue. There's no maker's mark on there, so I'm not sure who the manufacturer is. But they look to be very, very high quality. So I can't see that giving you a drama at all. And again, we're going to pop these back in their bag. And I'm like a broken record. So nice to get the BMW decals as well. Obviously they take licensing. And probably cost the company a fortune to get. Um, but they are there. And they are very nice. I have used those ones before. They lay down pretty good. So I'm going to pop them back in. The PE looks good. Like I say, they've got the proper rally plates there. And PE. I'm not going to take them out to the point. And we've got the tyre markings as well. So that's the kit all gone through. Let's have a look at the instructions. So we've got this absolutely stunning colour call out. Decal location. Which is brilliant. Nice, clear. You can actually see what you're building. And gives a very, very good indication of what it's going to look like. That looks absolutely stunning. Um, so, yeah, nice addition there. You don't always get that with the kits. It's normally black and white for some reason. Um, right, so we open it up. We've got some information from a bumblebee. You can buzz off. I don't know what that's about. There are all the colours over there as well. There's a full list of them listed in Japanese, English, German, French... And Chinese okay and they give out the Mr. Hobby Aquas and Mr. Color and the Tamiya call outs as well so it's white red silver gold flat black steel shine red neutral gray burnt iron tire black sandy yellow clear red clear orange clear blue and semi gloss black there's also a guide on applying the decals there as well and an explanation of the legends included in the kit along as well you've got painting there as well um, I think this is calling out for, is it that shine red, which is H23? Yeah, it's quite a nice red. Um, so you probably get away with that on the car. And then we're starting off with paint instructions for the car. So why are we painting that there? Give me a sec. Okay. What the hell? <laughs> right, it's telling us to paint stuff there when I've got no idea why we need to because there's the body and there's nothing on the roof. Unless I'm going mad. Paint instructions for body. Okay. Right. Okay, no idea what's going on there, so we'll ignore that. Start off all the transmission, cross members, paint up the engine, 
uh, all the under chassis as well, get the exhaust on, so on and so forth. Instructions are nice, clear, they're well laid out, nice and concise, not too busy, not very confusing at all. Uh, you've got to apply on the front and rear tyres, so they're off front and rear, so you need to be aware of that. Popping in those polythene sleeves. Um, and obviously, it comes to... Oh, hang on. Nope, it's not. Um, so these bits in the darker colours, these are the aftermarket legends for the detail set, which we'll get to in a set. I should have got that to that before this, really, but I forgot. Um, yeah, so these are the P for the other parts, which we'll go and have a look in a minute. Uh, we've got painting up the seats, obviously getting the seats in place, harnesses, so this is building the harnesses that come with the detail set, it looks like it's a nightmare, it's not actually that bad, and it shows the harness coming through the front of the seat, I have to look, but I'm pretty sure it will come through the middle of the seat, but I might be wrong, assembly the roll cage, dashboard, so on and so forth, uh, getting the door cards in place, front and rear bumpers assembly, the grill, uh, drilling holes for the roof, so obviously you're going to have holes in the roof for what I'm assuming are the roof vents and the antenna. Uh, using the aftermarket bonnet pins, so you need to remove the ones that are moulded on. Quite simple really. PE towing hooks as well, so yeah, it looks like there is quite a bit in that detail set. Masking the windows, obviously the windows go on from outside on this car as well. Get the boot spoiler in place, uh, we've got some PE, ah, we have PE in the detail set for the roof vents. So, ah, even better. <laughs> this PE roof vents. So there we go, problem solved. You got a much thinner roof vent. Excellent, well done BMAX. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Sound more like Arnie than, um... yeah. Anyway, uh, you got window wipers in PE as well. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you now, just for those alone, that detail set's worth it. You can make it yourself out of some sheet if you wanted. Uh, and obviously we've got mud flaps as well that come with the P set, which we'll have a look in a sec. And that's it. You've got parts layout on the back. Uh, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sprues, including the body shell, the decals, tires, mesh, yada yada yada. And on the back there is information about getting replacement parts. But trust me, go to spot model, they'll sort you out. Right, so there's what you get in the kit. And this is what you get in the aftermarket set. So we'll get it all out and have a little look. Again, I've got a quick glance through. I've not really had a proper look. Now, do we get instructions? Do we? Heck? Right. So number one, I'm not going to get it out because it'll end up getting lost. Um, but we have the antenna in there. Let me move that because it's whiting everything out. Now, if you can see that in there, there is a super fine sprung antenna. And it's body mount there as well. And it's a massive improvement over the kit part. Truly a massive improvement. So well worth it for that. It's properly sprung. It's got a proper body mount. And that's going to look absolutely fantastic on the car. The kit one isn't a patch on that part at all. We better off stretching some sprue. Um, but that is stunning. Absolutely lovely. You get some red ribbon material. Probably getting about 18 inches of it there. We've got the P itself which i'll take one piece off now this is the amazing pe which doesn't need cutting off it's held on the back by a sticky bit of plastic which is great so in here i'm not going to know all the parts but i'll tell you what i do know you've got bonnet pins you've got buckles for the seat belts there as well um you've got other parts of seat belts Got a fuel filler cap, which is lovely, really is nice. Tow hooks, you've got detail for the brakes, so you've got the cross uh, cross drilled for the rears and the groove to the front. We've got those absolutely lovely roof vents there, which are very nice. I'll come in a little bit actually so you can have a proper look. Uh, very, very nice PE. Look at that, stunning. Uh, we've got the mud flaps for the rear, we've got the wipers, we've got a grill for the front, I'm assuming. And yeah, very, very nice. It's absolutely lovely. Uh, you've got the rear uh, boot pins, I suppose they are. And we've got some little tiny nuts and bolts there. I'm not sure what they're going to be for. Are they for the uh, the wheels? They could be. Two. So we've got three times two, four, six, eighteen. Hmm, no, it can't be. Yeah, some very fine detail there, but yeah, that is lovely. 
well worth it for that alone. I think it's going to, uh, there's a bit more on there than came with the touring machine. And I think for the likes of those roof vents, sorry, I'm dazzling it in a way I can show it you. Uh, I think for those roof vents alone, that is worth it. They're going to look a lot better. And of course, ba -ba -da -ba, I think this is the bit everyone doesn't seem to realise that while they don't come in the kit, they are in the detail set. Um, now, the way they go around it is by separating the letters. So, there is carrier film between all of this. I can catch the light, there you go, you can see it. So, what you're best doing, obviously you need to grab an A, and an O for the top, and an A, and an O for the bottom, is cut them out as close as you can. Get rid of as much of that carrier film as you can, just to reduce the risk of any silvering or mucking up on you. And uh, it is there, and they are lovely. So... You've got your seatbelt harness pads as well, your aftermarket belts, and the full Bastos library there as well. So again, like I say, from what I've seen, nobody seems to realise this is in the detail set. I spotted it on the BMAX site, and that's the reason why I added it. Uh, and to be honest, I did say that if I buy another one, I probably won't get another detail set, but I think I will. I think this one warrants it, I think it's a bit better. Uh, with the roof vents and so on and so forth, I think it adds a bit more detail to the kit at minimal cost uh, but if you're definitely doing this Bastos scheme it's worth getting for these because a set sheet of these will cost you 8 quid or so alone so it's worth it for all the extras so there we go absolutely superb looks to be a great kit of 32.99 which seems to be the RRP at most places absolutely fantastic value for money and uh, yeah absolutely great the detail upset I think it was about £15 I forget now my apologies uh, and I think especially on this version, the rally version, it's well worth adding. So there we go. So I'm itching to build this, um, as is my buddy Sam. And I think it's going to be one of our next buddy builds together. So hopefully you should see this build pretty soon. And uh, I'll look forward to showing it to you guys. So if I do build, I'll come back. We'll do a little bit of a showcase for it and uh, see what it looks like built up. So there we go. So there we go. What do we think? Well, it's epic. It's brilliant. It's superb. And like I say, it's nice to see that rally version of it, finally. I did make a rally version. It's literally the... I did a Rothman scheme of it. I raised the suspension myself. I did an extra seat. added wheels. The wrong wheels, admittedly, but I did add them. Um, this has been announced for a while. I knew it was coming out, and I've looked forward to it coming out. So, absolutely fantastic. Uh, a £32. It's a really good kit for the money. Uh, and you really can't fault that at all. It's absolutely superb. It's nice to see... Touring car version, the DTM version, and uh, the rally version now as well. So, well done, BMAX. Another excellent kit. Um, BMAX is a subs subsidiary of Aoshima, um, which uh, is basically they're making European cars. That's what I can see. And the Group Bs are next. Audi S1. Uh, you got the Lancia Delta S4. Uh, and I'm hoping we're going to get our 200. Metro 6 R4, etc., etc. Hopefully, they'll keep on going. Um, it'd be amazing if they do hopefully they will, we'll see over time so there we go, so another worthy addition to the stats, like I say, I will be adding more to these as I go and uh, hopefully we'll see some more active market schemes as well, I've got a few already and there's a few more to get, so really looking forward to getting those, so brilliant. top marks off me, like I said that detail of set, well worth the money for the extras uh, and the detail decal set as well superb there you go thanks for watching as always leave a comment i do read them all do appreciate the comments thumbs up thumbs down if you're not subscribed to the channel give us a, su a sub um and uh, check out our friday night live shows half seven uk half eight europe on 30 century us every friday night we alternate weeks between our proper show which we've got latest kit releases looking at your work on the facebook page and the forum what myself and the live crew have been building and buying questions from you lot in the chat questions for the crew we've got giveaways as well and then the week after is our build night where it's a bit more relaxed we sit back the camera's on we're chatting away building with you guys and we alternate that week from week so make sure you come and do that every friday night on this channel check out the national scale model facebook page and forum both free to sign up well run well pleased no idiots on there bar me uh, no unwanted criticism of your work if you want it you can ask for it but nobody will critique your work without you asking so you're safe to post, nobody's going to pick up on anything, can be daft about it. And uh, yeah, it's a very well run, very, very busy page, uh, which is absolutely brilliant. Check out my own personal modelling page as well, Paul at ISM. I always say that, it's Paul-ISM, not ISM. And uh, all my work's posted on there, so come and like my page. All the links are in the description down below. 
and uh, obviously you've got the live the bench page as well for the live show and the modeling hangout page as well if you watch the live show we do offer hangouts every single night I'll be popping in a minute after this because it's coming up to 6 p.m. Um, we do offer hangouts every night all you need is a webcam a mic sense of humor jump in come and say hello and you'll find that on the modeling hangout group if you get stuck ask in the comments down below and I'll shoot you the link in there to join and uh, come and join us. It's brilliant. It's good fun. You make some good friends all over the world. Have a good chat, good laugh, etc., etc. And always, well, as always, check out umpretail.com, www.umpretail.com. Head over there. It's Man Lee's modeling uh, business. We've got model kits. We've got sanders, thinners, cleaners, washers, masking tape, primers, all sorts of modeling sundries, as well as resin kits. Um, all sorts, you name it, we've got it. Come on over, support a small family business, and uh, yeah, come and uh, push your modelling a bit further with some better products. That's all I'm going to say. And there we are. So thanks for watching. Hope we didn't waffle on for too long in the review for you. And uh, I'll catch you next time. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.